Hey guys, welcome back to Almost Inevitable Design. My name is still PK and I make WordPress tutorials for designers and developers. Today we're going to be making a WooCommerce shop with Breakdance. If you need Breakdance, please visit the affiliate link down below. And if you want, if you need any downloads, please visit the link to my website, almostinevitable.com, down in the description below. Cool. Um, I should have done that on the odd numbered videos. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, anyways, let's see where we are. Uh, we need to now add the footer, which is pretty simple. And then we're going to export all the images and we can keep going from there. All right. So for now, timer, same thing. Start the timer and let's see where we can go, where, how far we can get. Cool. Add the footer, make it the global footer. location everywhere at footer cool cool now also in terms of ui one th one thing that i like about breakdance is um, oxygen also does it all in templates oxygen has everything in templates which confused me for a minute there when i first started breakdance but uh, having headers and footers separately like that also is pretty clear enough. It really helps, I think. Um, and it's not like you have a separate place that says site builder and then everything is it's it's it makes sense. But navigating that site builder, that whole big thing called site builder, and then, you know, sort of that it's, it's not as clear of a UI as it could have been. And a lot of builders do that. Um, anyways, here we are. So let's make a footer. So that is the footer. Like I said, it's just four columns. We're just going to make four text columns and that's it. Okay. Well, one will be the logo and the other three will be text columns and that's it for now. And then we're going to export the images. Okay. All right. So let's add right now. We have nothing in the footer. Let's add a section. Okay. Um, I wonder, We can change that tag. Yeah. I should have done that to header as well, but yeah. All right, cool. All right. So that's good. Uh, we can add divs because it's flex anyways, or we can add columns because it's columns are just more divs. Uh, here in Breakdance, we use flex, which means if you add a column, then, then you'll get one div with as many columns as you need as separate divs inside. And they're all flexed. Uh, they're all laid out in Flexbox. If I add a div directly, same thing. All right. So I'm just going to add a column, <laughs> make four of them. That's it. So that's one div. That's four more divs. If I had not done that, all right. I could have done something like this, right? And just duplicate that like that, that, and that. And I would have to lay them out like that and like that. Oh, oh, I guess not. I'll have to use columns. I, yeah, I could have just use flex directly, but I guess not. Um, yeah, there you go. That works fine. Um, the thing, well, cause I came from oxygen, oxygen, you can, you can sort of do that. Uh, column just helps make it easier it Adds one more div and that's enough. That's fine. Uh, anyways, let's see where we are. Um, let's add an image and that image shall be that guy. And in the footer, oh, I gotta, ch I gotta, okay. All right. So the footer that is 90 pixels wide. So we are going to get a max width of 90 is 4.5 rem. And there we go. All done. Cool. And in the columns, we're going to add rich text. All right. Yep. All 
another item, another menu, another day. Cool. Um, we can edit that. We won't for now. Uh, we'll just duplicate that, duplicate that, drop that down here, drop that down there. Technically, that should just be a paragraph like that but we'll just leave them all as lists for now because it really doesn't matter at this moment. It's all placeholder text for now. So we're done. Save that. And that is the footer. Okay, now we're gonna export images. So you can see that's directly clicked. So that's directly uh, um, movable. So it's not, it doesn't have like, it's, in, it's not in a group or uh, um, it's, it's, it has an overlay and grouped together or the overlay is on top. So you thought you're clicking on the image, but you're actually clicking on the uh, overlay, which is why I moved it out of the side for a second there. So all these guys have overlays. So we're going to take those guys underneath just the image, just that image, just that image, and also just that image. Is that, no, let's just not do that image. I think that's a group, so I'm not, yeah, I don't want to export that group. All right, so, oh wait, is that a group? No, that's a group, so, all right, so I need that, need that separate, okay. Might as well undo that group as well. So if you want to make a group, it's Command G. If you want to undo a group, ungroup, then it's Command Shift G, okay? All right, so that guy, that guy, that guy, oh, shift, sorry. That guy, that guy, that guy, that, 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 and this. All right, export, Command E. Uh, we're gonna export them all as JPEG. 80%, 80 oh, 80% is more than enough. Uh, they could be double the size. I normally go with 1.5, because that's all I need. Uh, double technically gets you retina sizes, but, um, not all client images have the proper uh, resolution, uh, but the screens also, you don't need that large uh, um, files anyways. So depending on how uh, the site is intended for, what the site, int depending on qu how quickly you want the site to load, just make sure you don't have like crazy large images because even if it does go through um, the image optimizer, it's not always the best. Got to do the best you can do here. 80%, uh, 1.5 is pretty good. It covers pretty much everything. So yeah, if you want to go, if you want to go better twice, doesn't really matter. There we go. And now you can see that I got all my images, original images from Unsplash. I'm going to rename these images after a jump cut and I'll come back because I like renaming images. All right, so I'll pause, pause that and I'll do a jump cut. All right, retitle all of them and I'm resuming. Cool. So normally what I do is I just give them easy names to understand. So it's it helps with me not only when I'm uploading and finding the right image, it also has the file name that sort of helps with alts. If you don't have an alt for the image, uh, the bots will end up reading the file name. Okay, so that can help. Now, it's not a good idea to start keyword stuffing in the images, but, um, and people who say that that's important really should update their SEO knowledge, uh, but alts is where you add that, and keyword stuffing never works anyways. Um, in most cases. And if it does, Google, it was not the intent of Google. All right, so it's all up there. Okay, cool. Uh, cool, all right, so, you know what? That thing is always stuck on the footer, so I should probably add that to the footer, you know? So, yeah. All right, I'm gonna undo as much as possible so I get everything in its place. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, cool. So that's all in its place, so that's good. Um, you know what, might as well finish that footer there, okay?
we have about four minutes left. So let's let's finish that footer, okay? All right, let's add a section, all right? And that section will go on top of that section. All right, so remember this was named footer, right? That was footer in as a tag. That section above it doesn't need to be footer. So we'll just leave that as is, okay? Uh, background. Fine. Uh, layout. Let's see if we can add an image to How's the size hundred percent with no gap. Where's the gap? Mm. Yep. Yeah, okay. Does this have any inside spacing? Padding, padding zero. Oh yeah, just on the sides, sorry. Yeah, zero, there we go. Good. No, actually on the top and bottom as well. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. That's good. Because, because it's supposed to look like, um, supposed to look like that, right? Yep. All right, let's add an image. It's that guy jumping, jumping over uh, a post. Footer newsletter, yep. Cool. All right, let's add some text. All right, so that should be H2. Like, this text means nothing, but we'll just add them. And it should be white. All right, cool. Okay, so if you look at the letting here, see, or line height in CSS, um, that's really tight. That's 72, oh, you can't see that. See, that's 72 and 72. Um, depending on how the font is put together, sometimes the, the, the cap heights and everything are not the best. Um, there's too much spacing there, here and there, so we're actually gonna have to change that in global settings because that will probably affect everything. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, okay. All headings, all right. Um, Remember how I said M's are based off of the font size? So if you have one M, that is based off of that font size. So if this font is 80, then one M equals 80 pixels, okay? Uh, rem is based off of the root M, which was set which was set separately. So if it's one rem, then it means 20 pixels. So different, okay? Because we set it as 20, normally on other uh, websites it could be 16. Uh, one is good point. Let's see what point nine looks like. Yeah, that looks a little tighter, right? Point eight. Oh, no, 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 no. That's eight point eight. Ooh, point eight looks really tight. Uh, let's not do that. Let's just go with nine. Ah, oh, come on, man. Nine. There we go. Nine M is good. All right. Why is that so condensed? <clears throat> Did I upload the wrong font? <laughs> All right, I'll figure that out and um, I will just add the text here. I'll just add the text real quick. Yep. No, not there. Come on, move over here. Yep. Let's see.
Nope, that's not an H2. That's fine. Okay. And let's... Nope, 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 nope. Where's the color? Sorry, I was in the wrong place. I just searched for it. Oh, it's a background. Uh, jump cut. That one, right underneath it. <laughs> right underneath it. There we go. Cool. Um, we can add the subscribe form there, but we'll worry about that later. I'll save that, and we'll probably finish up the footer the next video, I guess. Right? Yeah. This is a odd number video, so even number video. So it'll take a little more time, but you get the gist. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add um, some max widths and everything that. So that's actually important. Need some explanation. So I'll see you in the next video then. All right. All right. See ya. Bye.